Hello everybody, my name is Rocket and you're watching Rocket in Vermont. Today we are in White River Junction, which is my sweet town. I'm here to tell you not about the one, the two, the three, the four, but the 14 different places that you can come to get something delicious to eat or drink. It is actually quite rare that in a town of this size and a community this small, that you can get this density of good small businesses to come and eat and drink and build community. Now all of these places are within walking distance. So you can park right down here and explore. So let's get to it. First things first, up here on North Main Street, we have Time, which is a classic restaurant. It has anchored this community for a long time, and it is a great place to grab dinner. Coming this way, you can see right behind me, kitty corner here, we have Jewel, which is named after the owners, Julie and Elena. Get it? They serve really great health foods, smoothies, super, super delicious. You always leave there feeling light and refreshed. And over this way, down this alley, there is Wolf Tree, which is an amazing cocktail bar. The owner, Max, is just an incredible guy, family man, who has deep, deep experience in the cocktail scene here in Vermont. Their cocktails are incredible. Just around the corner, about a minute walk away, you have the filling station, which is my favorite place to go. They have bluegrass nights on Wednesdays and Ava's Candy, which is locally owned by a beautiful family. And Ava is the daughter of that family. Apparently, she's a genius. Let's keep going. And on this end of town, you have CNS Pizza, which serves up the hits, the classics, and Trail Break, which serves tacos, burritos, and a bunch of different beers. It's a really fun place to go grab a drink. Moving right along, we have Phnom Penh, which is a Cambodian restaurant. They have a satellite location in New Hampshire, but I'm not rocking in New Hampshire. This place is really, really delicious, authentic Cambodian food, highly worth a visit. Just across the street, we have Tucker Box, which is an institution here. I did a video with them earlier this year. You should definitely check that out. Now, here's a brief story that I want to tell you about the owners of Tucker Box. This summer, during a huge amount of construction, which the people of White River Junction endured all summer, there was a basement flood that destroyed hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of inventory for Tucker Box. As a result, they had to shut down for a couple months. During that period, they continued to pay their staff through it. That, to me, is a very, very clear, obvious signal to the type of people that Jackie and Veral Atke are, and I think it speaks a lot to how much they care about their staff as well as the community. Now, just next door to Tucker Box, you have Piecemeal Pies, owned by Justin, who is an incredible pastry chef. He's a brilliant, beautiful soul, and the food is really focused around savory English pies, but they also have all sorts of salads and yogurts and other delicious foods. It's a beautiful place, and they actually just opened a second location in Stowe. Now I need to make a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, the Hartford Area Chamber of Commerce. This organization is a community institution that gathers businesses together and provides all sorts of support. They also host the annual Queechee Balloon Festival. So it is a wonderful organization. They obviously care a lot about this community. I thank them for supporting this video and also for everything that they do generally for the Hartford area. Okay, and finally, down at the end of South Main Street, you have Big Fatties. They do live music all summer, which is awesome. They have TVs inside so you can watch sports. And of course, they have delicious barbecue. Next door to them, they have a bottle shop so you can get beer, carry it out. Now over here in this beautiful brick house, you have Elixir, which is a fine dining, beautiful, delicious restaurant. Chris Brewer, the current owner, actually used to be the head chef of the place. He bought it from Skip and Jane Szymanski earlier this year with the help of the community through a uh, crowdfunding support. And he has done an amazing job of carrying on that legacy. Now, if you walk down the alley right down here, there is a new place that is open, super secret, brand new, called Putnam. Vineyard. It is a very, very eye-popping place. It is lush, they serve wine, and I believe they're starting a coffee program soon too. And just over here, we have River Roost Brewery. They brew all the beers right here in this building and they serve it uh, on site. So you can come pick it up and uh, have a beer. They are in the process of building out a pretty sick patio. So hopefully come warmer months, it's gonna be awesome. Now you may be wondering, where are all the cannabis spots in White River Junction? Truth is, there are none downtown, but just up the hill we have the Tea House, which is brand new, it just opened, it's locally owned, and it's beautiful inside, so you can come up here to visit. Well, that's it, everybody. This is all the food and drink that you can find right here in downtown White River Junction if you just parked and walked around. So if you ever have the opportunity, I recommend that you come down here. My name is Rocket, you're watching Rocket in Vermont, and I will see you in the next video.